Hey guys, hope you guys are doing great today. So if you guys haven't watched our last video, go watch it now. It's all about our story from our points of view. It's super interesting and super insightful. That being said, we realize that a lot of you guys may still have questions about Nikki or about myself or about our story in general. So we asked all of you guys on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube to drop any questions you had for us. So for this video, we're gonna answer your questions, but we're gonna make it a little bit more interesting by incorporating accents, which I'm not looking forward to because it's all gonna sound the same. But <laughs> let's start. So that being said, ahead of time, we are not trying to be racist or trying to be offensive to anybody. This is just all for fun. Yeah. We will probably butcher it. We'll probably be horrible at it, but it's for fun. So here is the Q&A accent challenge. So for this first question was actually a very serious question. So we're not going to do an accent with this one. Um, it's actually a big problem that's happening in Nikki's home country. Mm -hmm. And the question is from Chen Wang. How bad is the white genocide in South Africa? And for those of you guys who don't know about it, a lot of farm killings, a lot of farmers are getting murdered in South Africa. And it's not a lot of limelight in that. So um, this is actually for you. So I'm going to let you kind of elaborate on that. So. Racism in South Africa is a really serious issue and it's not everybody but there's there are certain groups we've got the Afrikaners which is the farmers for the most part and a group of radical extremists um, which is targeting the white farmers and killing them and their families and unfortunately our government is very corrupt and sometimes the police is part of it so you're not really safe um, and basically, you know, everybody's trying to take everything into their own hands and, and I mean, nothing is being done about it, really. Like, people yeah. are just getting killed. We do, however, got a new president, so hopefully he will <sighs> do something. Racism yeah. there is huge. I was only there for a year and I saw it. It's like 10 times worse than what America has. Mm -hmm. um, not to bring this into any kind of political debate or anything, it's just... It's sad that that mindset still exists in, yeah. in the world. And for my American friends who don't know what apartheid is, think of like our segregation, like Martin Luther King times. But the difference is that their apartheid was like 10, 12 years ago. It's very recent. Yeah. So the segregation laws had just been lifted recently mm -hmm. within our lifetime. Yeah, just get that yeah. out of the way. Get you guys aware. You can look it up. It's some yeah. sad things. And just keep the just keep South Africa in, 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 in prayers. prayers. Yeah. South African people are in prayers. It has such a potential to be such an amazing nation. Mm -hmm. And it really is. It's the epitaph of, uh, of Africa mm -hmm. right now. But it still has a lot of problems. Yeah. Everybody has problems, but... I mean, if it goes on like this, it's not... The country is not going to last very long. All we can do is pray. Pray? And yeah. Yeah. Pray for the right leadership. Okay. All right, enough with the depressing stuff. On to the light stuff. Let's answer some questions, have some fun, mm -hmm. and do this accent thing. Yeah. Cool. In case. All right, let's start this thing off. Okay. Who is the question from? The question is from Haley Hall. And she asked, what was the process like getting Nikki to America? And how did that journey go with the government and everything? Okay, so it goes nothing. <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Tell me stop. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what this one. So this is Spanish, so like Hispanic. So like cholo mind you this is not trying to be racist or anything so if you're hispanic and watching this it's not good this is like the the iconic okay hispanic <laughs> my name is jeff <laughs> <laughs> my name is jeff okay almost so the process was like you know I, there was a lot of paperwork and uh <laughs> It was just a lot of a lot of paperwork to get here legally not illegally like my my cousin <laughs> Okay. But in all seriousness, it was a lot of paperwork, a lot of a lot of patience. It took a very long time. Uh, but in all seriousness, if you want to know the process, you can go on the government, the USCIS. Uh, if you want to, if you know somebody that wants to come here. Uh, but yeah, oh, I butchered that. That was so bad. Alrighty. So the next question is from James Bobo. 
and he asked, will any of Nikki's relatives move to America? This is a two part question. The second part is, Will she ever go back to being a blonde? So draw your thing. Irish. Irish. <laughs> this is not gonna be good. I, my brother, he's trying to. Be <laughs> my brother, he's he will in the yeah. <laughs> I'm not good at this. So my brother, he's he will move here. I'm just, I'm just go, <laughs> go with it. <laughs> okay, or maybe my brother he he will move here one day. Okay. <laughs> okay. And my family they are also trying to. Okay, second question. Try second to do question. Irish. Is are you ever gonna be blonde again? I hope so. But I do like the browns. Uh, you see, my hair very weak right now because I I colored it. So maybe I'll wait a few years before I try to go back to Bond. That is not Irish. Next question. Next question is from John Marie Gordon and she asked um, how did our parents react? How did our parents react to yeah. like us? Yeah. Okay, like us becoming engaged and all of that. Alright, accented it goes. Ready, set. Russian. Okay. So my parents, they were not very, they were not very happy. I'm just kidding. My parents were ecstatic. They loved Nikki from day one. <laughs> what is funny? What is funny? You're, I don't understand. You're so good. I don't understand. You're so good. But my parents, they were very, very happy. They they could not ask for any better way for me. I only had to trade three cows and four chickens for this one. But seriously, they love her. They love our story. They love everything about her. Okay. okay. <laughs> next question, please. All right. So next question is for Nikki. This is from Lilani Wessels. And she asked, how did Nikki feel about leaving her family behind in South Africa? And in the accent. British. British. That's an easy one. That's basically your accent when I first met you. Okay, so at first I felt very sad and you know, it was scary leaving the family, but now I know that it's for the best because I'm here with my husband and uh, I love doing life with him. Cheerio. So the next question is for Robbie from Shane Ferris and he asks, when are you guys going to vlog in downtown Chicago, Illinois? Which is kind of where I went to college. So, accent time, tell me when to stop. And this is Scottish. If you made it this far in the video, you watched Nikki Butcher in Irish accent. So I'm gonna try my best at a Scottish accent. <laughs> so Shane, <laughs> the next time me and Nikki are going to be down in Oh, this is a little British. This is bad for me. Yeah, that's British. Down in Chicago, it's going to be in a wee little bit when my parents arrive into the US, whenever that may be, so we can visit that side of the block. Oh, that was horrible. Uh, but in all seriousness, we don't know. I'd love to take Nikki that side. Yeah. It'd be real cool. Okay, the next question for Nikki is from Alicia. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. Van Dyke. <laughs> well, she asked it in Afrikaans, so I'll just. She's going to translate it, but she's also going to answer it. Okay, so she just asked, um, Nikki, what do you do that you, uh, now that you're there, and uh, you know, if you're, what are you like studying or working? So, what does Nikki do now that she's in the US? Here's the accent. Australian. You should know this because you watch Jess and Gabriel yeah, all the time. But... Just copy Jess. So, I. I'm not doing anything at the moment. I am just <laughs> volunteering at church. <laughs> and I have future plans for college. Yeah. That was that, just passionate. It was, it that was, was just passionate, horrible. not Australia. Horrible. <laughs> I don't have the ability to do accents. Like my mouth won't allow it. I can do American now and I can do- Next American. question. Okay, so the next question is for Abby. And it's from Danielle's daddy. And he asked, is Nikki Prego yet? Prego. Ooh. Ooh, surprise mom and dad. Just kidding. Let's get this accent going. <laughs> yes! Dang it! <laughs> so this accent is not from a specific country. It's, it's not an accent. 
It's just impersonating. It's, it's a Donald Trump accent. So the question is. <laughs> I got, I got, I got big hands. The question is, is, is Nikki Franco yet? And she is. No! Which is wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Nikki is not pregnant yet, but I hope she is. It's gonna be a huge... Nikki is not pregnant it's and will be, not be pregnant It's gonna be years. huge! <laughs> no. I sound like the lady from Monsters, Inc. Mike was asking. Great. Mike was asking. Only a few more questions left. The next That's question right. is from Leroy Hodgkinson. Hodgkinson. Sorry. The next question is from Leroy Hodgkinson, and he asked, Nikki, what is it like living in America culture? Is it similar to Afrikaans culture? What did you pull? Afrikaans. Afrikaans accent. That's not even fair. To be fair, actually, she lost her accent, so it's gonna be funny trying to regain it. Yeah, that's true. So, it's not very different. Uh, sort of different, the food is sort of the same. But, uh, you know, people's personalities is very different. And, you, yeah, people are way more friendlier in, in America than in South Africa. The American culture and then the Afrikaans culture isn't too much different. Uh, or let's say the southern part of America. It's not too different from, from Afrikaans. We like the same food. Yeah, that's basically it. We like the same food. That's how Everything. you should speak to me like that like all the time. True story, that's how she kind of like spoke. Not In the just, beginning. Not, when we first met, that's how she, she, she just lost it. Yeah, I lost it. It's America, we're good at taking over. So there you have it. We completely butchered that. We'll have a real Q&A in the future. So if you want to ask the same questions when we ask, you can do that. A real Q&A, no accents. One thing we can say we took away from this is Nikki is terrible. I am accents. very She's terrible really at accents. I'm really bad too. I only nailed like maybe two. No, you were good for the most no. part. They started blending. I had this thing where I blend my accents. They, they become all one world language. Anyway. So thank you guys for watching. Thank you. Really hope you enjoy it. So like, subscribe, follow us on Instagram. We're about to enjoy this pizza. So God bless and we out.